So this is book one, and this was sold with the box set at Costco, where it came with a few other books in the series, and a poster, and a DVD. And the AR app is free to use. And I remember with all the books, poster, and DVD, it was... I think it was $75 at Costco and it was sold around Christmas time and then after it was also still on sale and this was really nice the kids really enjoyed the AR feature if the pages were like this though it, you'd have to hold it pretty flat otherwise it'd be shaky but only book one has the AR feature everything else does not so the kids really enjoyed this um, box set from Costco Hi there! We're so excited you're using the Boxcar Children Augmented Reality Workbook! I'm Jessie, and inside you'll find me, Henry, Hi! Violet, and Benny, jumping out of the pages to help you understand what's going on in the story. It's going to be great! Come join us! Oh, sorry. My family and I were just here stopping for a second. We'll keep you company. Hold on, Henry. Are you here for the story? If you are, we can help you out. Violet! You want to do the honors? Oh, totally! As you read the book, every time you'll see an illustration like this one. Hold your phone over the picture and you'll see us. And have more fun! We'll probably talk about things we love to eat and what we're doing. Thanks, Benny. I was getting to that. Hi, I'm so glad you decided to keep on going. Benny! Manners! Ugh, it's been such a long day. And we haven't eaten anything. Tell you what, we're gonna finish up. You read the beginning of the story, and we'll catch up with you soon. Bye! <laughs> I'm glad Benny's getting some rest, but I can't sleep. I have a weird feeling about this. A warm home? Fresh bread? That seems way too good to be true. Why do we have to stay so quiet? All right. Do you understand why we have to leave? Do you? Benny is in danger if we stay here. The baker's wife said we could live here and help with the baking, but Benny's too little. She'll send him to the children's home. We can't let that happen. I can't save Benny. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Do you know why we left in the middle of the night? You got it! We cannot let Benny be separated from us and sent to a children's home. If you don't know what a children's home is, it's an orphanage. That was close. At least we were a little more rested, thanks to a good night's sleep in the haystack. And Benny was thirsty. It was lucky we found water. Do you know how we got the water? Yes, you got it right. A pump is a device for pumping water out of a well. There are two places we could have gone. Silver City or Greenfield. Which way do you think we chose? 
Yes, even though it was further. We went to Silver City so the baker and his wife couldn't find us. It was so nice to have a soft bed of pine needles, and it was right near the fountain. But I don't think we can stay here. Benny, come on, take my hand. We need to find better shelter before it starts to. <sighs> Too late. Rain. Benny, why are you so nervous about staying in the boxcar? You you tell him. Good work. He thought the train was gonna pull us away. Ah! Oh. <laughs> we'll keep you. Just let me get this thorn out of your paw. No, your paw. Save the slobber kisses for a minute. We had so much fun surprising Henry. Can you pick out the surprises we had for him? You got it right. Henry was so surprised and happy with the blueberries and the dog. Do you remember the dog's name? Oh, the look on his face. Priceless. I have a big imagination. I thought Wash was a bear at first, and I like to pretend I'm a bear sometimes. Do you use your imagination? Oh, you're probably wondering what we're doing digging through this trash. What could we do with the things we find? I want to find a wheel. If you look, I bet you'll find one. We can find stuff here to make the boxcar feel like home. We need cups, spoons, bowls, and I guess Benny needs a wheel. What's that saying, Benny? One mint's trash is another mint's treasure? Um, do you know what treasure means? Do you? That's right. Well, this is definitely a treasure to us. Great work. You've collected more food for your feast. Watch! It's dinner time, and even Watch is hungry. Let's see what Henry has in his bundles. <laughs> wow! Boy, using a push mower is so much work but it really feels good to work hard and get paid for it. We all worked very hard today. Even Watch worked hard burying his bone and Henry earned some money. What did Henry do to make money? Yes! Henry was lucky enough to find a good man that gave him a job. 
Henry did such a good job, the doctor will give him work every day. And Henry even got cookies! I'm so happy now we have a fireplace we can use to cook all our meals. We can cook all kinds of things in our new pot. Miss Moore gave me a job to thin out the vegetables in her garden. Do you know why she asked me to do this? Yes, you got it right. The vegetables were too close and would have trouble growing. However, the little vegetables I pulled out were good and delicious. We've been having such a great time working together and building our home. I can't wait for our next project. I built a cart for Benny. Do you remember why I asked Benny to move stones with his new cart? Yes! You're so excited to swim. And we worked so hard to build a dam across the brook to make a swimming pool. Good boy, watch. Let's see if the chicken left anything behind. Boy, making a day. I am so happy I found the eggs. Boy, making a dam to create our swimming pool is harder than we thought. Do you know what a dam is? Very good! By damming the flow of the water from the brook, we made a swimming pool. Since Benny was too small to climb the trees, how did he help with the cherry picking? Hey! I'm not that small! I was a big help! Do you remember what I did? I carried big baskets and put all the cherries into a lot of little baskets. Those cherries were sure delicious. I loved running in the free-for-all race. It's called that because anyone can run in it. Do you think Watch would have liked to run in the race?
Violet and I wanted to teach Benny to read, but we needed a book to teach him. I did not know how to write on pages, but Violet had a great idea for what we could use. What did we use to write in the book we made? You got it right! Violet had a great idea of using a burned stick out of the fire. That's how she wrote the words. Guess what? Not only can I read now, but so can Watch, my dog. Today was an incredible day. I won a big silver cup and brought home $25. I did it by doing something I'd love to do. Do you know what that is? Yes, I ran in the race and won. Woo! I loved to run and didn't even think I would win because I didn't train or practice. Ah, oh, shucks. It was so sad that that man's dog died. He was very nice. Do you think the man was nice? We're so happy to have met our grandfather. I can't believe we were hiding from him. Do you know when we first decided we loved James Henry Alden? Yes, we knew we loved him when he was so sorry that Violet was sick. Odd, we had assumed that he was old and mean, but he was really nice. We made an assumption without all the facts. We are so excited to see the boxcar again. Do you know why? It's our home that we made, and it has my pink cup and Watch's buried bone. We were sorry to leave it again. But Benny, our home is anywhere we are all together. <laughs> we'll keep you. Just let me get this thorn out of your paw. No, your paw! Save the flower kisses for a minute. Not only did we find our grandfather and get a new house, he also surprised us with our most favorite thing. What was the surprise?
Yes, our grandfather moved the boxcar to our new home. And I got my pink cup too. Why do you think I like my old pink cup so much?